Hello ladies and gentlemen, Confesseur here, coming at you from Baltimore, Maryland. On a really absolutely gorgeous day uh, out here in the mid-Atlantic. Uh, it's about 75 degrees, uh, low humidity, a lot of cicadas flying around. <laughs> uh, just absolutely gorgeous day. Um, so perfect for uh, coming out on the patio and drinking some kava in the, in the, the, the early dusk. Um, I'm sure you'll have noticed um, a lot of the my more, more recent um, uh, videos that I've posted on my YouTube channel. A lot of uh, are uh, doing some uh, some cl claw hammering on the banjo, and um, I can uh, I can promise you that there will be no claw hammer banjo in this video, though uh, there will be more claw hammer banjo to come. Uh, rest assured. <laughs> Trying to you know bring a little variety into the Kavasur, uh set lists you know um anyways uh there is a a small but mighty bula banjo brotherhood um in the kava world uh squanch a good friend of mine is a bula banjo brother we uh, spend a lot of time talking about banjos and sharing pictures of banjos that we find online and youtube videos of people playing different banjos uh edward out in the uk of all places, has a uh, beautiful five-string Deering uh, Sierra banjo. Um, absolutely gorgeous banjo. Uh, very expensive too. Um, but anyways, yeah, we're a, a small but mighty group of, of banjo players here in the in the Bula Banjo Brotherhood movement. And uh, if you'd like to join, please do let me know. So no, no ukuleles, no, no banjos, uh, no fiddles, no synthesizers, uh, nothing, nothing crazy on this video. But today I'm so excited um, to be doing a review of gourmet Hawaiian kava, Mwa'i. Uh, uh, oftentimes that M-O-I is, uh, there's an apostrophe after the O before the I. Um, uh, uh, in this case, it's not there, but uh, I've, I've been uh, told by uh, those who speak, um, it's not speak, but those who know how to pronounce uh, these words that Maui is the, the correct pronunciation. This is a kava um, that is grown in Hawaii uh, on the Big Island. Um, and a lot of you are already familiar with gourmet Hawaiian kava. Um, uh, they have absolutely delicious kavas. I actually just finished a bag of, of Hiwa, and I didn't get a, around to, uh, to to doing a review of it, um, but uh, it's, it was absolutely fantastic. And uh, it's it's a, a good uh, you buy a pound of gourmet Hawaiian kava. Uh, it's very um, it's very dense, so when you uh, you know use a couple tablespoons of, of, of gourmet Hawaiian kava, uh, you can usually get a, a good amount of, of strong kava out of it. Um, I've already made a batch here, so I'm just gonna get right into that without annoyingly, you know, editing between now and me preparing the kava. So uh, it's got a nice um, dark brown color. Nothing too unusual about the color. Nothing stands out about the color. You know, oftentimes most kavas have the same type of color, and then you'll get some. Um, some kind of rare ones um, that are like a white, almost like a white creamy color. But this one has a more standard kind of brown. I'll, I'll take a picture and then when I phase between the scenes, I'll, I'll show a picture of it. But uh, Bula to the Hula. Mm. Very nice, very smooth. Um, yeah, very smooth, um, very unique kind of flavor. I don't know how to describe it. Like a peppery aftertaste, but the initial flavor of it is very smooth and um, Wow, yeah, really nice. I, I think smooth actually captures it. I was like thinking of like um, a, a flavor like a 
from the nut family, but it, 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 cashews are jumping to mind, with, and they and they and they typically do. Um, but um, yeah, very good flavor. So I'm gonna go ahead and, and continue to drink this, and I'm going to you know pluck away on my banjo while I do that, and um, not put that in the video. But uh, I'll come back and give you my uh, my final thoughts here. Bula to the hula. All right, friends. So I've um, I've had a um, a plethora of shells now, um, and I've been sitting here on the patio porch, whatever you want to call it, strumming away at the the banjo. And um, it's a very, very uh, sedating, relaxing. I didn't get that. Could you try again? Huh. Interesting. <laughs> None of that sounded like me beckoning her name, but um, very relaxing, sedating kava that you know really um, has a kind of a stony behind the eyes kind of a, kind of effect. Um, really, like supremely good mellow stuff the mwai and that's pretty consistent with uh, what I've heard other people say about it and um, <laughs> with all that being said I don't know how much how much more I can say it's tastes good feels good it puts you in a place where uh, the troubles are no more and, and the water rolls off your back as you step out of the out of the river cleansed spirit baptized in the, the icy mountain waters <laughs> all right folks um so what else is there coming up there's a lot of kava reviews coming up from kava sewer as always i'm looking at some um knock them all at home single chemotype slash single cultivar kavas and those should be coming out pretty soon and i'm really excited to try those um I really want to try some of the uh, more of the Pacific Santo uh, PSL Cavas um, because the Burkar was absolutely fantastic. I still have a little bit of it left and I can't wait to um, have a little bit more of that. So Bula to the Bula Bre Banjo Brotherhood and Bula to the Bula Kava community and we'll catch you next time folks. <laughs>